Hi guys, this is Klazart, bringing you another audio commentary, and this time I'm commentating on the MSL Round of 8 matchup. This is Savior, this is 2009, uh, and he's doing his very best to deliver on his promise and also his threat. Uh, we've got Savior facing up against Zero in this matchup. This first set is going to be on destination. It is a best of five. We've got Zero starting up at the top of the map at the, six, at the 12 o'clock position, and Savior in red starting at the bottom of the map at the 6 o'clock position. So Zero in blue, Savior in red, uh, and this is going to be absolutely epic. Um, it's going to be an interesting matchup. Savior, obviously, Zerg versus Zerg is a lottery, and I personally feel if he can get through this matchup, he's got a really great chance of winning the whole thing. Uh, although I do know there are other strong players such as Lita still in the contest, and even on the other side of the bracket, legends like Nara. I do feel that Zerg versus Zerg is the game where Savior is the most vulnerable. It's least suited to his style of play, uh, and it's most open to the sort of lottery that ca that can decide these sort of games. So uh, it, it, it often is just about build orders, and Savior actually uh, managed to beat Zero in the previous game that these two have encountered. So obviously he's going to have the psychological edge. Obviously Savior's got the big game experience of having participated in lots of these kind of tournaments and been there on the big stage, done that. Um, is Zero going to be a little bit overawed in Savior's company? That's the big question. I think the first set is hugely important for Zero. He needs to take this set down. Looks like Savior might be actually going for a 12 hatch build here. He's sending his drone out to his natural expo. Zero looks to be going for something similar as well. His overlords popped out and Zero looks like he's going for... Savior's not going for a 12 hatch. He's sending his drone out. So it looks like he's going for a drone scout or is he is he actually he is it looks like he's sending that drone off to build a base in the right hand side of the map at the four o'clock position so savior taking a bit of a risk here because if that base is scouted obviously zero is going to see uh savior well i suppose savior hopes zero is not well zero is going to see the timing of savior's um spawning pool go, going up so zero is going to have an estimate once his overlord gets in savior's base and zero has gone for actually a 12 pool savior's gone for a 12 hatch huge risk by savior and if this gets scouted and surely when zero's overlord gets into savior's base i think savior is trying to be a little bit too clever here because it's going to be incredibly difficult for him to defend both his main as well as the expo he's taken at the four o'clock position but it's very cocky by Savior here to try and go for this. Um, and again, I guess he's counting on the fact that Zero is not going to drone scout. Uh, and it looks like the fans certainly feel that um, it's in Savior's favor. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be interesting. Zero now mining away at the gas. He's got his uh, spawning pool up to a 12 pool, I think, is a fairly safe build uh, on this sort of map. Uh, and now it looks like Zero has actually taken his uh, natural expo as well. So he's he's gone for his natural expo as well. But I still feel that Savior putting that expo down at the 4 o'clock position, it does leave him a little bit vulnerable in, in terms of being able to defend this. Obviously, if he can pull it off, he'll have an advantage. I don't know why he didn't take his natural. Maybe it's just to befuddle his opponent, but surely, when his opponent sees uh, what Savior's build is and the timing of the lair and the rest of it, Zero already started up his lair uh, and he's seen that Savior hasn't gone for his natural expo. He's going to feel that he's ahead in terms of his economy and maybe that's what Savior's counting on. By not taking that natural, realizing that that Overlord is probably going to spot that natural first, it might give Savior that little bit of extra time with his opponent not pressuring him with the Zerglings uh, or not producing enough Zerglings. It's just going to be interesting to see exactly what Savior is hoping to do your Savior's Lair uh, going up maybe just a second behind Zero's Lair, so he's certainly not behind in that regard. His natural, uh, his expo obviously up sooner, and now Zero sending about three or four Zerglings out. Savior's got a group of Zerglings out as well, and again, Savior's just going to rely so heavily on Zero not scouting this, because if Zero scouts this, there's absolutely no way I feel that Savior can defend. But Zero is sending a Zergling out! This is going to be horrible for Savior! He's not, he's pulling the Zergling back, he's sending the Zerglings around. I guess he feels he wants to make sure Savior isn't tricking him, or Savior isn't trying anything spectacular, uh, or anything crazy. Savior now sending his Zerglings out to try and push the... I guess Zero was just maybe deciding once he saw Savior's Zerglings coming, he pulled his own Zerglings back. Uh, and Savior is actually producing Zerglings from both hatcheries. So Savior is going to try and confuse Zero. He's going to... And Zero has seen... Zero has seen the second hatchery with his Overlord. His Overlord is wandering over the 4 o'clock position. And that's why Zero pulled his Zerglings back. So Zero, Savior is actually... That's why he positioned the hatchery there to try and conceal from Zero the amount of Zerglings he actually had so that Zero wouldn't have enough Zerglings to defend against him because Zero uh, would obviously be backing on that. But now Savior is going to be in trouble because Zero has seen this with his Overlord. He saw the first set of Zerglings that Savior produced from that coming out. Savior going all in with Zerglings here, uh, and this is going to be make or break. If Savior can win this game right now, he's going to win it. Otherwise, Zero is going to be in a very strong position, and Zero doing a good job of putting his Zerglings on both bridges. He's got more than enough Zerglings to hold his defense. Savior's committed himself to a lot of Zerglings, uh, and Zero looks like he's got a spire up. Savior manages to sneak a solo Zergling through somehow, through Zero's defenses, uh, and he's it's just going to do uh, get a scout, but obviously Savior's had that Overlord there as well, uh, over Zero's Natural Expo. So Savior's got that Zergling in, uh, and this is going to going looking bad for Savior actually. It looks like Zero might actually go one up here uh, to start off with, because you've got to feel that Zero's going to have the early advantage now that he's nullified Savior's play, and Savior's going to struggle to defend on both uh, 
on both fronts. He hasn't gotten that. He hasn't tried to get the second gas. Neither has zero. Uh, so it's, he's basically primarily relying on these zerglings, and he's, he's just in a less strong position to be able to defend. And Saber trying to break through loses one of his zerglings, but I believe he killed one of zero zerglings in the pro zerglings in the process as well. So now he's putting the extractor up, and it's just a question of whether he's going to be able to defend both his main and his natural. We've seen Saber lose zerg versus zerg recently in the pro league. Um, to trying to be too adventurous and trying to take his natural on that occasion. On, on this occasion, the natural probably would have been a safer bet. And Savior once again manages to sneak another Zerg through. He's just trying to put some pressure on Zero's line at the bridge, just trying to force Zero back a little bit. He's managed to get a couple of Zerglings through. Uh, Savior's Zergling not being micro there. And Savior's managed to break through, but Zero's got Mutilus building, I'm sure. Savior's going to try and pick up a couple of drones here. Zero's going to try and use those drones along with the Zerglings to pick up, block off the ramp. And now Zero's Mutilus are out. And Savior is in huge trouble. He's got Scourges as well as Mutilus out. And Savior with just Zerglings, he realizes that he needs to do some damage, but Saber's going to lose all of his Zerglings. He manages to kill most of Zero's Zerglings, and now he's running around, and all he can afford to hope to do is buy himself some time. Zero Scourges heading over towards Savior's base, and Savior in a world of trouble right now. Zero with a massive advantage. Savior's got more Scourges out, but Zero's going to be able to build up a Mutilus Force here, and now the pressure's going to be on the sa on Savior to try and do something, because Zero can just continue. It looks like Creep calling going up for Savior. Wouldn't be surprised if... I haven't seen an Evolution Chamber go down, so maybe he feels that he can defend both bases again. He has put himself in a little bit of a dangerous position. Zero obviously has got his second gas up as well and is mining from it, but really Savior going for a, a risky all-in build and unfortunately for him it was scouted by Savior, uh, scouted by Zero, and now Zero is in a very good position to take the opening set of this best of five matchup, uh, and Savior putting himself a little bit under caution, that's what Zerg versus Zerg can be, it can be a little bit of a lottery, and I would have felt that if there was any matchup that Savior was likely to go out in, in this MSL, Zerg versus Zerg would be it, although I did feel that a best of five, it would be very difficult for any player to take Savior down, take three sets against Savior is not easy in the form that he's in right now, but now Zero coming in, and Savior is going to try and put some pressure on with his mutilus, try and equalize this somewhat. Uh, he's going to try and use his scourges as a shield and try and pull... Uh, Zergling's going to get me from Zero in Saber's base. Saber not really able to affect too much damage with that attack. Uh, his Sunken obviously doing a good job of uh, against those handful of Zerglings, so Saber obviously anticipated that and was forced to expend the resources on it. Uh, but you've got to feel that, that Zero uh, has the initiative right now. He just can sit back and defend and, and make Saber come to him while he continues to build his Mutilus Force to an overwhelming superior force. And now it looks like Zero feels he's ready to go and put the pressure on Saber uh, and take him down. So Zero's going to come in, and this is going to be the crucial battle right here. Saber is going to hope that he has has some forces, has some eggs hatch in time to help him defend. Zero out coming in with more Zerglings, uh, putting pressure, taking out one of Savior's overlords. That's not going to help him a lot. And Savior's going to be forced. Savior's got Scourges popping right on top of the battle, right on top. And Zero obviously caught off guard in the Mutilus Micro. Now Zero's got Scourges of his own coming. Savior with some great Micro picks up the two Scourges. The Scourges of Zero's not being able to do any advantage. Any damage to Savior's Scourges, but meanwhile, uh, to Savior's uh, Mutilus, but meanwhile, looks like Zero got a drone kill perhaps on one of Savior's drones mining the gas at the um, sec at his expo. Uh, Zero's now coming back in for another attack. He's good. once again focusing on that overlord, and that overlord probably is going to go down before Savior can come in and defend it. Savior forced to bring his Mutilus out to fight against Zero. Zero's got a lot of Scourges there. Savior being chased away. He's taken some damage from the Scourges, uh, and looks like Savior's Sim Zero for some reason didn't seem to want to stand and fight against Savior. Zero doing a good job of microing his Mutilus uh, and Savior looks like he is going to go down in this first set. So it looks like Zero is going to draw first blood and uh, I found Savior's got more Scourges popping out once again. He's once again going to try and take these Scourges down of Zero's. He's now being able to do some good damage to Zero, chasing Zero's Mutilus away. He's managed to kill off another of Zero's Mutilus uh, and using the Scourges to great advantage and to just about just barely holding his defense but those Overlord losses are going to hurt Savior so much and if Zero can take this win that's really going to be a big boost to his confidence and I really feel that Savior has thrown this game away and it looks like Savior's only down to one or two Mutilus and Zero definitely has the advantage. He's got Zerglings coming in as well. And Savior, again, being forced to defend on two fronts. He just doesn't have what it takes. That Sunken would have been so much more effective if he just had a natural expo. And if he had the Sunken at the natural, he would be able to defend both his main and the 4 o'clock expo from Zerglings with it. And Zero's going to use those Zerglings to put pressure on Savior, try and pick off his gas drones first of all, and force him to focus his Mutilus fire on the gas drones so that his own Mutilus can get a couple of free shots off. Savior doing a good job of defending, but there's still one Zergling left that's killing off his drones. Uh, and Savior realizes this is do or die for him, but it does look like Zero's going to be in a very strong position. Savior has picked up some of Zero's Mutilus, but Zero still has a large bunch of Mutilus in there, and Savior seems to be badly outnumbered. He's now lost all of his Scourges, and now he's running to the protection of his main, where he's hoping that, uh, his eggs will hatch in time to help him defend, as they have so uh, time and time again. And that one Zergling continued to kill all of Savior's Gas Drones at his Expo, at his 4 o'clock Expo, uh, and Zero just in such a strong position, microing against Savior's Scourges, doesn't want to make wants to make sure that he doesn't surrender the initiative, and now he's got a huge group of Mutilus. He's got almost a full group, and surely Zero is going to take the first game against 
against Savior, and Savior's gonna be under a lot of pressure right off the bat, right from the start, and Savior's forced to GG. His strategy failed, and from that point on, it was just down to zero to hold his nerve, and he did that quite successfully. GG, guys, first blood going to zero, that's gonna help his confidence no end, and really, Savior, uh, I don't know what he was thinking, he didn't need to go for that risky strategy, but that, that is Zerg versus Zerg, can be a lottery. This is Klazart, guys, thanks for listening. Game two, coming up.